You can learn a lot about the state of a colony by watching the entrance, watching bees at the entrance. Now, we're seeing, we're seeing a few bees walking around at the entrance here. At a glance, we might think, well, that's okay, they're out, it's sunny, you know, must be okay. But, if we compare that level of activity with what's going on over here, you can see that there's masses of pollen being brought in here. Masses of it. All different colours. There's, there's a huge amount of activity. The bees look enthusiastic. They look like they are going to be well, they look like they could swarm pretty much any time and that's something I'm going to have to keep an eye on. So, let's compare this one. Here's another similar hive um, on, the, on the same stand. Again, there's, there's a decent amount of activity. It's not as, it's not as uh, strong a colony as the other one, but there's a decent amount of activity. There are bees coming back with pollen. You know, there's lots going on. It looks organised. It looks like, looks like these bees are, are doing all the right things. But then we come back to, over here to this uh, hive, and what do we see? We be, see bees looking pretty listless. They're not looking at all enthusiastic about life. There's no sign of pollen coming in. And although the individual bees look okay, it's, it's very clear that there's something very different going on in this hive uh, than those two over there. So we need to investigate further. So I'm just going to lift the lid. Um, now, I, I don't have a bee suit on or anything, so... Um, I'm not going to uh, poke them too hard, just in case they're not in the best of moods. Let's have a look. We'll take away the top bar here, the first, uh, sorry, I mean the uh, divider board, the follower board. And we can see first straight away that here's a bag of sugar that I put into the hive uh, a couple of weeks ago. And look inside, what can we see? We see mouse droppings. Okay, not a good sign. Now let's investigate a little bit further. So the first comb we come across is empty. Uh, there's, this hive has um, an eco floor, so I'm just gonna shake this. Uh, this had fondant in it, this, uh, this bag. And again, I can see signs of mouse droppings. There is um, bits of um, bits of fir tree in there and I'm not sure whether I put those in there or not. I think I did. This next comb here is, uh, as you can see, look, it's been eaten away by Mr. and Mrs. Mouse. So they've been helping themselves to ivy honey by the look of it. Um, bees, bees look okay. I mean, there, there's bees in there and the, they've still got plenty of honey. It's not like the mice have eaten them out of house and home. Let's look a little bit further. Now there's, as you can see, there are some attachments at the side, but they're very fine and I can easily move the comb. So again, I'm just moving things aside slightly so I can see what's going on. There's bees in here. Is it a viable colony? That's another question. I would want to see more bees than this and I'd want to see a laying queen. I'm not seeing any of those things. Um, the, the mice have obviously nibbled away at the comb here. Uh, I'm not seeing any sign of a queen laying or even a queen doing nothing at all so we have had a mouse in here at least one possibly a, a couple 
there at the moment don't seem to be I would say there's, there's barely enough bees in here to be viable so this colony has crashed even though there's there's plenty of food there is some pollen coming in actually I can see bees down there with some pollen on I'm just gonna have a quick look back to see if I managed to miss the queen but I mean there's so few bees in here that I don't, I don't think there's uh, I don't think there's a queen in here oh yes there she is okay so there's a marked queen um, is she laying mm, doesn't look like it I'm looking into the cells here now slight caveat here I don't have my glasses on so it's possible that she's laying but there again I must say there are very few bees in this hive it's possible it's just possible they might get through this um, but they are very short on foragers and they're going to be struggling so now what we don't know of course is was the my the mouse or mice uh, responsible for the, um, the the reduction in numbers in this colony frankly I doubt it I think there's probably some other explanation I think the mice have probably just taken advantage I'm going to give them that I'm going to give them that sugar back there's no, no mice in here now obviously they run off okay so I'm going to close this up and uh, what can we say well very small colony not much going on um, could be a number of reasons the uh, the Queen may not be viable for whatever reason although she was okay last year and um, we'll give them a little bit longer and see if they recover there's not very much that I can do that's going to make any any real difference to them right now okay we can go back here and you can see actually there is some pollen coming in so they are trying they're doing their best with with what they have in the way of resources so who knows they might pick up yeah there's pollen coming in we shall see they may have enough resilience to to build up again it all depends on the queen now whether she's uh, she's up to laying I'll check again in a week if I still can't see any signs of the queen laying then we'll probably have to take some other action it's too early to uh, be able to give them a new queen obviously this is uh, this is only uh, 20 something of March so we can't just give them a new queen uh, because, uh, well, we don't have any to spare yet. We won't have any queens fertile, fertilised until probably uh, second week of May, something like that. Um, so they're going to have to do their best until at least then. You can see there there's a bee fanning with a tail in the air, fanning the Nazanov hormones. There's a little bit more activity now, you know, there's, there's some pollen coming in, there's a few bees flying. They look like they're trying. So I'll, I'll make another video uh, next time I come and visit them and let's see how they get on. Good luck bees.